<laughs> it's June, what, 17? And it's still raining around here. We're gonna do the milking, so I'll share with you the craziness. Now we were in the middle of setting up the posts to do the extension, which we're gonna do on this side. And, and on this side, there's gonna be another extension of the barn because we need more room. <laughs> so right now we just have a little something covering it while we set the post, treat the the trees that we're using as posts, and then we'll put them here. I tried to mix the grain with some alfalfa pellet because that makes it more interesting to them and it takes longer for them to go through the bowl of food. Yeah. I put this here and Clara, it's pretty good at just jumping in here and getting it done. Mocha, to the story. This craziness to separate, I swear. Okay, come on, you stay. Clara knows it's her turn. She knows where to do, where to go. She'll jump on the stand and she won't care. But Mocha hates when I lock her in. Look at Clara, I mean, she's vacuuming that. This spray bottle has seen better days. She's not too full because last night I separated them kind of late, but it was my fault, not hers. Hey girl. A lot of people milk from the other side. I milk from behind. I don't know why my girls freak out so much when I don't. Well, not Clara so much, but Mocha does. As she starts to go through her food, She'll start to move around until she gets the idea that she needs to stay. And sometimes I just put my hands in front, sometimes I put it behind. It's all more about my comfort than anything <laughs> and my cramping because I have a very bad finger so my hands cramp more. Well, that hand cramps more. So when I get tired, I just do one hand for a little bit. Or when my fingers get tired, because I really love milking them. She's okay. looking at me like, put my brain. No, you have some pellets there. Just eat your alfalfa. Sometimes I move the ball to the back and then I aim at the back. <sighs> but I really do love milking. Do I? Now Clara, I think she's trying to wean her girl. So 
So I kind of need to make sure that she is uh, empty completely or the most that I can just so her milk production won't go down. Hopefully my milk room will be done before summer ends so that way I can continue to milk them for as much as I can, for as long as I can. This is kind of getting to the end. Or at this point, it's been on milk for four months. And she is super good. Super stubborn, but super good. And still, this is what it looks like when it's empty. I mean, she does have a little bit, I can feel it up here, but she has a little girl who's waiting to see hers. <laughs> That's why it looks empty and she is not worried or anything that she's still in the stand. She was looking at me like, what's up, Clara? Clara. She looks like that to me. Every few minutes like, okay, you're not giving me more food? She doesn't need it. It's just a little brat that likes to eat too fast. Mocha is all kinds of fidgety. And some days she does great. And some days I had to chase her around the entire pan to melt her. Like, it's, you never know what you're gonna get with her. As you can see, I mean, she'll let me milk her. It's just sometimes that she gets to a point maybe that I'm not fast enough to get it done in the time that she wants me to. But um, she has tons of milk and her udder is so full in the morning that like I can't sometimes milk this left side because of how big her udder is which is a good problem to have, but it's so full that it's hard to grab her teats in a position where you can milk it fast. And it's just because I can't grab more towards the other. Now she eats lower than Clara, but right now she's eating pretty fast for my liking, because I am not being super fast today. And again, it's just because her udder is so, so hard and so full that until I can get to the point of softening it a little bit by getting the milk out, it's hard. Sometimes I just have to do one side until it's, you know, you release that excess. Because it's hard to go both sides like this. I don't know if you can see but her stream is pretty big. So it's not a small orifice, so it comes fast. It's just being able to grab the other, <laughs> the right position to press the milk or to trap the milk in the teat. I'm gonna try to point down for a little bit later. I'm gonna try to get the biggest and more uncomfortable part done right now, but she is eating. Again, with Mocha, never, ever, ever leave the bucket unattended because she will use that to just step in the bucket. This side is still with a lot of milk, so.
With Mocha, I try to hurry. With Clara, I can stretch it, but with Mocha, I have to hurry. Because once she starts screaming for her kids, she will start holding the milk. So as she's entertained eating her food, she doesn't care. But even if I give her a third bowl, let's say that she'd eat it, she, she won't. Even if she's hungry, she won't have a third bowl. It's really unbelievable how much more milk she produced from last year compared to last year. But she was a first freshener, so. Now, I could hobble her because that would make my life easier and we'll keep her still, but I told myself last year that this year I was gonna spend more time with them in the milking stand, training them to be good. So, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Teach them that they have to stay still and she is learning. Every day she does better. The only thing that she is not good at is coming to the stand and just starting to eat like Clara did. Like she won't do that. Now my hands are starting to cramp. I'm a sissy and I barely started milking, you know, not too long ago. But she has lots of milk. Can you see how bouncy it is? She has lots and lots of milk. I'm almost to the court and say she just wants to go with her babies now. She's holding this much in. It's okay. You're a good mama. It took you a minute, but you're a good mama. Oh, mama who wants to feed her baby. But she did, I can still get some. Well, see? She's really holding back. Look. I mean, I can bump her and get a lot more out of her. Not a lot, but some, I should say. But I'm gonna not do that. Because I have a board. I don't need more than that. And those babies need it. So they're still young and shouldn't be weaned. They stay with the other mom all night. Although I'll show you where they are. <sighs> Can I try to get something more out of you? Okay. Okay. Mm. She typically put this one to the very top, but can you see how it's not? That's full of milk for you, babies. You think they're extra hungry today? That's why you're holding back that much. See, that's uh, that. This is the part where I know she's ready. And instead of fighting her, I just have her stay here and be patient while I do other things and then come together. I think Dumb wants water. He probably dumped it or did something to it. But look at him, he's standing, standing by the water bucket. We'll see in a minute. Thank you. You've been a good girl today. Appreciate it. I guess the ones that scream the most are the twins. It's like, oh my gosh, you got back there? I'm so sorry, girly. Okay, I'll let you get up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brie. She's like, sorry, won't do it. And these are the quads. They're here waiting for the mama. They're like, oh, Grammy, just let us go. Just let us go with them, our mom. Who's the best mom? Where's my mom? Ah, you meet Grammy right there with her teeth. Thanks, Grammy. <laughs> She's like, do I have to? <laughs> She's okay, your children are looking for you. You should go. You can 
Any whatever's left, Gaia. Ah, uh, you're fine. I'll give you water. You're fine. Yeah. What'd you guys do with the water? I'll be right there. Hi. Uh, would you like some green? Fine. Fine with me.